What's up, my dear friends of the world? I'm going to show you a tour of my little studio setup. Some of you have been asking about how this set up, what are some of the things in the studio, and I want to share that with you. And at the end of this video, I have a very special surprise. It's totally surprised you, the first in the world to know about it. So you're going to want to stay tuned to that. So the first thing what we're going to do now is I'm going to just explain what's going on in here. I'm just going to have my little phone up here, and I'm going to film on this end what's going on, okay? So the studio is small, but it serves its purpose for me. And here I have some trombones here. We've gone through some of these on some of my videos. This one is really special. This is George Roberts, the greatest bass trombonist that ever lives. One of his actual trombones, one of his actual Holton trombones. So we have that. We have some of my main go-to horns. And this is my wall of, I guess, memories, right? So here's a really cool vintage photo of Kai and J.J. Johnson that I found that's an original production, the original print of this. And I grabbed that one real fast. That was at some clothing store in Pasadena, California, and they didn't even know what they had. And I think I got this thing for just a few dollars. Don't tell anyone. Yeah, pretty amazing. This is when I was on tour with the Glenn Miller Orchestra. That was in Japan. This is when I played with Johnny Mandel in his band, took a photo with him. And absolute, a legend arranger. This is with Herbie Hancock at the Musicians Union in Hollywood when it was there. This is Ricky Minor and John Acosta. Uh, that was at the Union too as well. That's me and Trombone Shorty. This is Paul Tanner. He was the first trombonist for the original Glenn Miller Orchestra, and he was the last surviving member of the original Glenn Miller Orchestra. And that's me and him in San Diego. I used to live in San Diego. He used to live in San Diego. There's Kenny Burrell and me when I played a gig with Kenny Burrell. That's me at a party with Herb Alpert, one of my idols. Okay. Here are some fortune cookies that was in my grandfather's wallet when he passed away. And I just realized that these quotes are such an amazing way to live. So he saved these his whole life in his wallet. This one says, do not rush through life. Pause and enjoy it. Be careful of talking when you should be listening. People find it difficult to resist your persuasive manner. Those who place all their hopes and money usually get shortchanged. Don't put off till tomorrow. Tell what you can do today. So really great little gems of wisdom. Got some fun little things here. There are my grandparents. Amazing, sweet grandparents. Love them tremendously. Here's a collection of Reuben microphones I have. This is a Royer microphone. Amazing on the trombone. That's a Barclay Reuben microphone. Amazing. Now, I have some cameras set up. I'll show you how I have that set up soon. But here's some more photos. This is me playing with Noel Gallagher of Oasis. And it's very interesting. My very first CD ever when I was a kid was this guy's CD. And I used to listen to it all the time. I learned all his good songs on the guitar. And here I am playing with him. It just shows how life is full circle like that. It's really amazing. That's me and Tezande, one of my good buddies. He's one of the first people to ever go viral online. We became really great friends. And that's us at a YouTube event. There's me with Jim Carrey. My whole life, I always wanted to meet Jim Carrey, hang out with Jim Carrey. Ever since I was like 10 or 11 years old, I used to like have dreams about meeting this guy. And then sure enough, in Los Angeles, got the opportunity to hang out with him, ask him questions. And that was a really special memory. Here's me with my buddy Leonard Patton meeting Lamont Dozier. He had us over at his house and he heard some of our songs. And we asked him some songwriting advice. This guy wrote all the famous Motown tunes, Sugar Pie Honey Bunch, um, all those famous songs that you know from Motown. Look up Lamont Dozier, okay? Holland and Dozier. There's me with my mentor, Phil Wilson, when he flew out to Los Angeles. Biggest honor of my life was when he came to LA to film these videos with me. He saw what I was doing online and he wanted to create some videos and I was like oh, this is the biggest honor I've ever had <clears throat> and that's him and I was playing at the Santa Monica Pier there's me and my beautiful wife that's us at the Grammys hanging out there's me and Andy Garcia the actor 
he came and did a video with Arturo Sandoval and I. You can check it up on this channel. It's a Ariana Grande cover. And that's us in the studio. That's me and Lance Bass. I played his engagement party or something like that. There's me with uh, Richardson, the Backstreet Boys uh, guy. I played one of his parties. There's me and Seth MacFarlane when I played a gig with him in his house, in his band. Okay. There's me and Arturo Sandoval recording some videos together. There's me and Sinbad, dear friend of mine. He would have me up on his stand up and play some trombone. So such an amazing guy. And then there's me with film legend Mark Rydell playing the piano and me jamming and playing some standards in a huge crazy mansion in Beverly Hills. And they were doing some kind of photo shoot thing there. I had my trombone with me, he was there. And we just started impromptu jamming and just played some standards. This guy did the best film of all uh, of the year, The Golden Pond. He's in so many famous films. Uh, absolute film legend. Okay, cool. This right here is a really cool design that I just was gravitated towards. And I was like, oh my gosh, I got to get something like that. And... I got it blown up and it's hanging up there because I just love the colors and I just love the symbolism of it, you know? And then lots of slides. We love slides. Here's an award I got from ClickFunnels for hitting my first million dollars online through ClickFunnels, okay? Through their platform. This is a award I got from a mastermind that I joined when I hit my first $100,000 a month and they gave me that. And that's an award I created for my clients when they get where they want to be with their businesses. All right. I got my faithful MIDI keyboard there. I got this amazing device here. What's so cool about this device is it allows you to switch cameras through your webcam software without having to change them out other ways. So you just hit the button, it changes the camera. Like, look here, you see that? That's going on there and look what happens. Boom, you see that camera? All of a sudden like that, and it's like your webcam. Your webcam turns into this amazing device. That's my uh, camera right there as far as the webcam I use. And then I can see everything that's going on display there. Got these little monitors here, have been with me for a while. I got this really great preamp just for ribbon microphones. I'm gonna do a comparison on that on the channel. I'm gonna show you how this works and how it really colors the sound and makes it really beautiful. And that is the interface I'm using. What else we got going on for you? That's about it. It's small, but you know, it does the job for, for me, what I'm looking to do. And here's the surprise. So the reason I want to do this is I just want to document this little space that I work in. And you know, so many videos have been made in here. So much cool things have gone on in here, recordings and everything. I just want to document it because look what's happening. We are building a studio right there. So right there is going to be the new studio where we're going to be able to get creative. We're going to be able to film videos. We're going to be able to do all kinds of recording in there. And I just wanted to document this journey just to see where we're at and where we're headed. So you guys can go on this journey with me. So I'll keep you updated. I'll be putting up videos about the new studio and that's it. I just wanted to share this with you all. Because I appreciate you all so much. I appreciate you guys for being subscribed. And it means a lot to me. And if you haven't subscribed yet and want to join me on this journey of life where I share what's going on, we'd love to have you here. And see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.